Hello. In today's video, we will learn on how to deploy inbuilt scripts with help of custom packages. The internal script that we will be executing is ospp.vbs script. Script is by default found on all the devices that have Office installed on it. And the purpose of the script is to help us pull details about the activation status of our installed Office. The default path will be C program files Microsoft Office Office 16. Again, this path may be different depending upon the version of Office that is installed on the target device. Now, though the script is available by default on the target devices that have Office installed on it, we still cannot call it directly with the help of execute program operational rule. We will need to tweak the process a bit and instead create a batch file that will get distributed to the target device and then call the inbuilt script. The batch file will have the below command. And once this test.batch file runs successfully, the output will get saved to the output.txt file. So let's get started with the demo. Our master server is our package factory, and we have saved the package also to it. On checking the information of the package, we see that the first line of the batch file will be the default path, and in the second line, we are calling the script and the output will get saved to the out.txt. Next, let's go to the BCM console and create a package. So go to the package factory and create the package. Go with the default option that is a custom package. Click next. Give this a user friendly name. Next, the path where you would like to save the test.bat. In my case, it will be C backslash TMP. So this should be colon. Next again, add the package to it. Click OK. Next, and publish it to the master. Finish. Continue with clicking yes. Click next. Here we are going to add the execute program operational rule to call the batch file. So the path will be C colon backslash temp backslash test dot bat file. Okay. Okay. And next. Click on finish, click on yes for distribution. As we are going to distribute it to a single device, the target type will be devices. Click next and add the device. Click on finish and yes. So we can see that the operational rule is executed successfully. Let's go to the target device and check the temp folder. Here we see the test.bat file is copied and this is the output of the bat file which shares the license status information for office thank you for watching the video